Hello everyone. Welcome to Boss Coder Academy's YouTube channel. Today we have with us our very special learner, Mr. Vikas Bharti, who recently cracked an amazing offer at Tier One company. Vikas has a rich experience of over 14 years in software engineering, and his constant hunger to learn and grow is something we should take inspiration from. If you are aspiring to work in top tech companies, then Vikas's journey will definitely help you. If you like this video, share it with a friend who might find it useful, and hit the subscribe button and also the like button. Now, without any further ado, let's hear it from Vikas how he excelled in his career. So, hey everyone, uh, my name is Aditya, and I'm from Boss Coder Academy. Today we have with us Vikas, and he recently got an offer. Uh, so, Vikas will be telling you all about his uh, journey. So, hey Vikas, how are you doing? I'm doing good, Aditya. Great. So, Vikas, uh, let's just start with your introduction. Sure. So, hey, Aditya, I've got around fourteen years of experience, mostly to full stack domain. Ah, uh, currently, I am working as a engineering uh, manager in a tier one company, and my previous companies had been Boeing, Cargill, and Cardinal Health. Okay, okay, that's great, Vikas. So, you said that you have an experience of fourteen years. Can you just ah uh, um, like Tell everyone about your journey till now. So, uh, the journey so far had been really good. So, all I was looking for is consistency in my preparation. So that is when I was looking for option who can ah uh, help me gain consistency in preparation towards DSA and all of that. And I looked at uh, other options ah uh, throughout online and anywhere. And what I found out was that ah uh, boss coder. was uh, as co compared to other competitors uh, uh, boss coder was real uh, very less so they were charging very less money and i yeah. heard good reviews about them so that's the reason why i kind of uh, joined boss coder okay that's great to hear about boss coder so uh, jumping on to the next part like what were your struggles uh, before joining boss coder so before joining boss coder mostly um, i used to struggle in consistency for an example if i'm solving five question today there's a possibility that uh, for the next three or four days i won't be doing anything and all of a sudden i'll start uh, preparing again so there was a lot of gap and all of that uh, but with boss coder there were sessions assignments and all of that so that maintained my consistency through all that's nice so uh, as a working professional with the 14 years of experience so it must have been hard for you to uh, you know like work and then uh, attend classes and be consistent in your preparation so that's a like doubt for many many working professionals so can you tell like uh, how did you manage uh, like preparation along with your job yeah so preparation mostly i used to prepare most of the things in the weekend itself so i was finding it hard to study on the weekdays so uh, in the weekdays the classes would happen for for boss coder and i used to ensure that uh, during the weekends i complete the assignments the recordings the video and all of that so that uh, it gives me a lot of time uh, so like it gives me a lot of time all together so i used to prepare only on weekends i didn't used to get much time on weekdays but i used to utilize weekends to the fullest Okay, so you like mostly spend uh, weekends in preparation. So Correct. it's like quite feasible with the family, the job, everything. You can prepare, right? Yes, you can prepare, but it's just that family time. If you want to achieve yeah. something, then you have to compromise somewhere, right? And uh, for right. an example, I have just I I had decided that I used to I have to switch to a tier one company, and that's the reason why I got into uh this uh, preparation journey, and then. I spend less time with my family, but once I got place, I was able to spend quality time with my family as well. Right, right. So it's just a matter of like I'm. I think five to six months. So Correct. the sacrifice for those period can like be fruitful for your future, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Great. So, uh, how did you get to know about Boss Coder Academy, and what so I... like what? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I came to know about Boss Coder mostly through LinkedIn. So okay. I'm an active user in LinkedIn, and that's where I got to know about Boss Coder. Okay, and what propelled your decision to join Boss Coder? Like, what was that one thing which made made the way through Boss Coder? 
Yeah, so I would say uh, the competitive price was the main thing. Okay. Because there are other academies like Scalar and all of that. They're charging like too much of money. Like three lakhs is too huge of money and all of that. And whereas Boscoda was pretty less. So uh, all I required was a consistency. If I can get the same consistency to Boscoda, why spend so many bucks? Yeah, right. So, okay, great. And like, uh, next part would be, how did you grab the like current job offer? And where did Boscoda help exactly? So, uh, uh, I got the interview invite from, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Insta Hire. So, Insta Hire is a very good platform yeah. For, yeah. Uh, so for software engineers. So, Insta Hire is where I got the call from. And then uh, I used to have, uh, uh, like, I was prepared enough for clearing the interviews, is what I thought. And then I started getting interviews. And I was eventually able to crack it. Okay, okay. And uh, like, where did exactly Boss Coder help you in this, all of this job hunting? So, Boss Coder really helped me on the DSA side of it. So, uh, the DSA side of it was very helpful for me because uh, it gave me the question which is mostly asked in uh, actual interviews. And I kind of prepared uh, with the concept that is being uh, provided in the actual uh, classes. So I make sure that I'm um, re, uh, going through the video lectures and going through the uh, and doing the assignments on time. So train me enough to kind of understand the underlying concept behind all of that. And eventually, I kind of was able to track. Great, great, because So just uh, like one last question about what is your overall feedback about the course and the curriculum of Boss Coder? And anything you yeah. want to mention about, like, to the new joinees who are yet to make their decision? Sure. So, uh, what I feel is, uh, uh, it's really important to be consistent when you're solving DSA. So, uh, all my advice to the new joiner at Boscoda would be, uh, please attain or achieve consistency throughout, so that at least in one day, you're able to solve three to five questions for sure. And most of the questions you should solve in weekends, but at least every day, if you're able to solve three to five questions on a regular basis, that is uh, more than enough for you to kind of acquire all the concept of DSA and uh, all the other underlying concept. And eventually, uh, if you are consistent enough, you will be able to track it. Also. So basically, consistency is that one thing which every new consistency. Have. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, okay. Thank you, Vikas, for all of your feedback. And just one more thing. Uh, out of, on a scale of 1 to 5, what would you like to rate Postcoders program? So, I would uh, currently rate it as 4 out of 5. Uh, yep. uh, that is the main thing. Like, I can rate it 4 out of 5. Uh, there are other things okay. which can be, but as a whole, right. it is very beneficial. Okay, okay. So, as a working professional with a lot of experience, you found it very useful while preparing for DSA and maintaining consistency. So, you yeah. can recommend it to anyone, right? Sure. Okay, okay. Great, Vikas. So, thank you so much, Vikas, for giving your feedback Bye. and telling about all of, all about your journey. So, thank you so much for your time. Have a good day. Thank you.